Welcome. The big thing of the hour right now is the infamous Joe Bot. Doom, doom, doom. As you can see, unfortunately, I had a slight issue with my Joe Bot. Seemed to be printing fine, and then he kind of lost his head and was laying on the bed in a, in a nice bed of spaghetti. So then, of course, what does every good person do when they do this? They regroup, they upsize the 200%, and print it again. <laughs> and this one printed really well. Except for one small flaw that I kind of broke his foot off when I took him off the bed. But, yep, I had to join the crowd. And I had to do my infamous high five. Okay, I wanted to add a little bit of something that I thought was kind of interesting. And I don't know if everybody's sharing it, but these all print, and forgive the camera work, I'm one-handing here. They, they drop on the bed like this, and this is how everybody's been printing them. And there's a bunch of videos out there, and you can see that's pretty big. Um, <laughs> you can see it on my Tronxy. It's kind of funny. So cute. Anyways, they're all printing this way, and I've seen all sorts of stuff. Nearest uh, printed, and he was talking about kind of a neat idea where he was actually putting support with uh, glue sticks and uh, bamboo here and here to keep it from wobbling and breaking. Well, I was just looking at it geometrically, and the weakness part is here, so I just literally turned it to the side so the legs were provided its own support and it looked like it did just fine. So I don't know. That's what I did. And uh, it seemed like it did just fine because it seems pretty sturdy that direction. But anyway, have fun, enjoy, print yourself a Joelbot and remember hashtag Joelbot.